history so this is actually a preparation model paper so before we have published so many videos on like you know uh, starts with the general plant pathology uh, you know like uh, uh, mycology bacteriology virology and various videos we have published but we have published no videos regarding history so there will be a small problem here because the history is like a very broad thing you know like it will be very difficult to make it as a comprehensive version so uh, it's a it's a you know like if you see the history of mycology or bacteriology or virology so many things are there it will be very difficult to cover and one more problem is uh, uh, during my education you know, uh, you know my friends used to call me history paithiyam it's a tamil word which means uh, history uh, you know crack so if i start a history so i will keep on going 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 so uh, the one hour video will goes to 3 hours or maybe 4 5 hours also so that's why i just limited with uh, some questions so like important questions so what is the probability questions are uh, uh, you know like probability topics and important things that i have placed like mcqs and i just placed here hope it, it will be very uh, you know like it will be very useful and it will be okay uh, when compared to to study in detail or uh, everything about history so if you see the previous net question papers you know like at least 8 to 10 questions will be from uh, history only mostly basic questions only will be asked so now we will see i just do uh, my level best i know compiling the best topics and best of the best questions uh, especially for history and i also put uh, you know like add up my knowledge regarding uh, history so uh, asrb net 2023 plant pathology so now we will see the history related stuff so my name is nn shankar reddy and i am working as astron professor in kasar best iu so the first uh, the first one is uh, starts with the uh, father of plant pathology so we know very well that uh, anton d berry here four options has been given here uh, like anton d berry p a michelli and clusius secado so let me tell you uh, each and every one um, about each and every one because uh, you know like uh, you know if you are doing if you are studying the mcqs like this it's better to know about the remaining uh, authors also so that it will be very easy to us to uh, you know remember and all those things so now we will see the first one is a father of plant pathology so the answer is anton d berry everyone will know that the father of plant pathology is anton d berry so when it comes to the michelli pa michelli uh, on the second option is pa michelli right so pa michelli is considered as father of uh, you know like uh, uh, founding founder and father of mycology pa michelli is considered as founding founder and father of mycology so clusius one more thing we have given here uh, uh, the scientist i mean he is not scientist like you know like uh, he is the one uh, researcher on that time he is uh, like you know uh, uh, clusius uh, he wrote that you know rarorium plantarum historica uh, it was it is you know like it is actually treated as the first monograph on fungi and uh, secado is a systematist and we will discuss uh, in detail about each and every one so the first one is anton d berry right so when it comes to anton d berry he is actually a german surgeon and botanist microbiologist and mycologist so you know like uh, he is largely considered as father of plant pathology father of modern plant pathology father and founder of modern experimental plant pathology and founder of modern mycology so many uh, you know uh, you know like uh, uh, great achievements he had done in uh, plant pathology that's why he was uh, respected with the father of respected with uh, uh, the honor of uh, father of plant pathology and he wrote so many books that i will tell you one important book comp uh, actually comparative morphology and biology of fungi mycetiosa and bacteria this was the book which was written by anton d berry comparative morphology and biology of fungi mycetiosa and bacteria that was published in 1866 actually it is a german version because he is a german man okay so later uh, the same book was uh, translated into english in 1887 that also i will tell you so like uh, you know uh, this english book was happened uh, uh, sorry this german book was actually translated in english in 1887 1887 it was actually translated by garson and bayflor uh, and he is also introduced many terms in plant pathology hastoria we know very well what is hastoria nutrient absorbing organ symbiosis teleospores mycetiosa sex hormones he also the first one who identified the involvement of uh, sex hormones in fungi sirene and anthradiole the those are all the first you know like uh, six hormones to be discovered and autosious and heterogeneous nature of rust chlamydospores endophyte biotroph 
facultative parasite and facultative saprophyte all these terms was given by anton de berry only i will tell you one more important thing how great plant pathologist is as a teacher i strongly believe as a teacher if your students will achieve better than you as a teacher uh, you know like uh, it will be a great honor to the teacher who actually taught them because if the teachers if the if the students will become the great pioneers or of the great uh, workers to the future definitely the teacher will be like uh, you know like he will be very happy because he, every teacher will thought our student will become the best in the future right our should definitely become you know like uh, to be the best in the future so he trained many uh, you know like uh, plant pathologist later their he students become the greatest contributors of plant pathology now i will tell you ms voronin we know very well club root of cabbage a uh, life cycle was discovered not only club root of cabbage but potato wart life cycle was discovered by ms voronin he is from russia oscar brevel pure culture techniques pma millard bodo mixture good old bodo mixture hm ward father of uh, tropical plant pathology wg farlo and fisher these all this greatest contributors to the plant pathology are all our students of anton de berry only these are all our students and trained by anton de berry only and anton de berry is very famous for the discovery of the very 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 important disease lead blight of potato that is phytophthora infestans is the one who discovered and who uh, you know argued with many uh, botanists and other people that it is caused by fungi and also proved with a very small experiment that's why he is called as experimental plant pathology and he is also the first man who initiated a physiological work on botrytis cinerea and he also gave you know phytophthora means plant destroyer so this was term also given given by anton de berry only phyto means plant thora means destroyer phytophthora means plant destroyer so let's uh, talk about p a michelli second one second option so p a michelli so here p a michelli is actually considered as founder and father of mycology so when you see india father and father of mycology and as well as plant pathology ej butler only when it comes to the world level father of plant pathology is anton de berry father of mycology is p a michelli and he wrote a very famous book p a michelli wrote a very famous book nova plantarum genera it was published in 1729 and he is the first man who proved that the disease was caused by spores he is the first one who argued and proved that the disease was caused by spores then clusius he was like you know rarorium plantarum historica he wrote rarorium plantarum historica and you know like uh, people used to consider it as you know like uh, first monograph in uh, 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 first monograph of uh, fungi and uh, second uh, ps sacada is you know like uh, he is a systematist he wrote a famous book called silloge fungorum uh, which almost contains 25 and 26 volumes so uh this is about the scientist who are here and the second one is name the book written by anton de berry so now just now only we discussed the book which was written by anton de berry is comparative morphology and biology of fungi mycetiosa and bacteria so these are all the this, this is the book he also wrote so many things like you know uh, ferments on bacteria and you know so many other things he wrote like lectures on bacteria on mildews and fermentation so many things he wrote but the famous book is comparative morphology and biology of fungi mycetiosa and bacteria which was actually published in a german language in the year of 1866 year is also very very important the second one is founder sorry father and founder of mycology so just now we discussed you know like uh, uh, p a michel is considered as founder and father of mycology we know very well that p a shekado silom fungorum and clusius water drawings of mushrooms and uh, and we also discussed the book which was written by him that is uh, uh, our rarorium plantarum historica that was considered as first monograph on fungi and ej butler he is considered as father of indian plant pathology when his section will come that i will tell you in detail about uh, ej butler and the contributions that butler had did and uh, the next one is the father of uh, father of plant pathology and mycology in india say i told you already right so in come to world level father of plant pathology anton de berry father of mycology is p a michel so when it comes to india father of plant pathology and father of mycology both are ej butler only ej butler irwin john butler he is uh, you know like a very famous uh, mycologist and you know like a plant pathologist in india he is actually from ireland so he, he, i think we guys know very well that we are under control of british india in 18 
almost for 200 years so in the 1860s 1870s and 80s he came india and you know like uh, uh, he started working on uh, mycology and various other aspects of uh, plant diseases and uh, you know like the contribution that he had did we are honored with uh, the name of uh, father of plant pathology and as well as mycology in india so let's uh, uh, let's talk something about uh, ej butler so is as i told you that is actually from uh, uh, you know ireland so he is an actually empirical mycologist in india he is largely concerned not largely concerned he is considered as father of modern plant pathology in india and also considered as father of indian mycology and he is the first man who appointed as uh, you know like uh, first cryptographic botanist to the government of india at calcutta so uh, now it's called as uh, calcutta uh, he is the first cryptographic botanist to the government of india so and you know like he is also the first director of empirical bureau of mycology that was there in uh, q q q w to england uh, in from in between the 1920 to 1935 due to ill health he actually retired in 1935 i mean uh, uh, he forced to retire in 1935 so you know like uh, he wrote so many books and you know like monographs and all those things but the very famous work he had uh, he, you know like uh, which he had done is uh, fungi and diseases in plant which was published in the year of 1918 which was published in the year of 1918 not 8 not 8018 okay 1918 is a very 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 famous book fungi and disease in plants was written by fungi and disease in plants was written by ej butler fungi and plant disease this is secondary right fungi and plant diseases was written by bb munkur bb munkur he is also considered as he is the, is the one not uh, sorry bb munkur is actually the one who started ips indian phytopathological society and also done uh, many great contributions to the uh, plant pathology now we will later we will discuss when it comes to the indian sections so uh, and uh, for not only the the, uh, the fungi and the diseases in plants and he also wrote monographs on pithiaceous and allied fungi bud rot of coconut and other palms meteorological uh, conditions on plant diseases wilt of uh, the wilt disease of uh, cotton sesam in india the fungi of india plant pathology a monograph on potato so many things he was uh, contributed to plant pathology and the most important thing is he also discovered a new genus who ej butler ej butler discovered a new genus called allomyces he discovered a new genus called allomyces it is a very 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 important one and you know like uh, he's the one who discovered you know like uh, many other things like uh, uh, first plant bacterial disease in india was reported by uh, ej butler the first plant bacterial disease in india is bangle blight of potato so bangle blight of potato and otherwise called as bacterial blight of potato okay so that is considered as the first plant bacterial disease in india that was also discovered by ej butler only now we will see the next one father of forest plant pathology father of forest plant pathology so robert hartig is considered as father of forest plant pathology so actually you know like uh, hm ward is considered as father of tropical plant pathology whereas robert hartig is considered as father of forest plant pathology so i think uh, he also wrote a uh, uh, few books like uh, you know like disease of forest trees or something like that he wrote one or two books i think uh, the next one is the uh, father of uh, tropical plant plant pathology though i told you before only that uh, uh, hm ward hm ward is considered as father of tropical plant pathology so the next one is uh, who introduced the term mycology so that mycology means we know very well study of fungi mycus means fungi logy means to study so mycology is actually a greek word which means whatever it is if it is ends with the logy mostly it is a greek word only okay so mycology is a study of fungi mycology is study of fungi the term mycology was actually coined by mj berkeley he is a very famous personality when it comes to the english uh, botany or when it comes to english uh, you know like uh, he is a very famous english botanist so let me tell you something about uh, mj berkeley so you know uh, he is the one who introduced the term mycology in 1836 and is also considered as founder of british mycology because he you know like uh, he is the systematist uh, uh, you know like uh, who actually identified and you know named many uh, around 6000 species 
so 6000 species uh, uh, you know like uh, he was the uh, identified and he worked on and he also published you know like uh, introduction to cryptogamic botany that was published in 1857 and outlines of uh, british fungology that was published in 1860 and you know like uh, for grapes powdery mildew he gave a name grapes powdery mildew is caused by iridium tacheri grapes powdery mildew now we know very well grapes powdery mildew is called caused by ancinella nicator the name changed into erysiphe nicator ancinella nicator the name changed into erysiphe nicator but at the time around 150 170 years before this uh, grapes powdery mildew he called the pathogen as iridium tacheri iridium tacheri so when it comes to em fries uh, that i will tell you later on and aristotle aristotle we know very well uh, Aristotle is actually uh, uh, you know a great philosopher and also considered as uh, a father of zoology and you know like many other things uh, and uh, we'll see the next one who proposed the name red rot of sugarcane so the name red rot of sugarcane was actually proposed by ej butler only we know very well ej butler is considered as father of plant pathology and father of mycology in, in india he wrote a very famous book called fungi and diseases in plants which was published in the year 191818 okay and the next one is who recommended olive uh, 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 olive oil extract for the control of blights so actually the option was not here actually the olive you know like uh, uh, you know by by sprinkling the leaf extract of oil we can recommend the plant disease control that was given by democritus democritus actually the option was not here so the option is democritus democritus is the one who recommended the controlling of plant blights by sprinkling of olive extracts or olive oil so the next one is 11th one is father of botany so theoprastus is actually considered as father of botany theoprastus is considered as father of botany i will let me uh, talk something about uh, theoprastus he is considered as father of botany you know like uh, he wrote two books the nature of plants that is enquiry into the plants so in the nature of plant or the enquiry into the plants he, he he actually mentioned about you know like morphology and anatomy of plants and other things and when it comes to the second book reasons of vegetable growth so in this book he mentioned you know like a plant propagation techniques how the plant will be actually propagated and all those things he is also famous that he is the first one who told that plant diseases are worth what means punishments like uh, uh, you know like uh, if we are doing any sins committed or uh, the god will punish us right so he is the first one who uh, you know told that plant diseases are the worth or punishment of god for the wrong things or for the wrong stuff what we have uh, done earlier so for such kind of people the plant diseases will come in their particular fields so people used to believe that plant diseases are because of uh, the wrong things that we are committed so in that time old times because they have no such technologies and you know like so no such contributions and innovation happened in the very old time before i mean before christ so the people used to thought that the plant diseases are the worth of god the punishment of god which was actually told by theoprastus theoprastus is also considered as father of botany and just now we discussed he wrote two books enquiry into the plants was written by you know very well enquiry into the plants was written by theoprastus and uh, the next one is who initiated robigolia festival so robigolia is actually a festival everybody will know it was actually uh, initiated by king numa pompilus he is a king uh, in 54 ad who actually initiated a festival called robigolia uh, that was initiated in 54 ad i think i don't know sorry sorry it's a 700 bc a roman king called uh, king numa pompilus it is actually celebrated by annual festival the festival name is robigolia robigus is the god okay robigolia is the festival robigus is the god which was initiated by king numa pompilus so why they are used to celebrate is to ward off the rust because they are you know like sacrifice uh, you know like uh, uh, red dogs uh, foxes cows in order to calm down the god robigus because uh, they believe that it's uh, maybe due to the wrong sins that we are committing so they specially created a god called robigus separately is the rust god only god for rust 
so if we are worshiping him so that he won't give any uh, rust to our uh, crops or our fields so that we can easily escape the rust is because the rust is a very dangerous problem in that time because they don't have a technology they thought that it's caused by some other stuff i like you know like uh, wrong things or some other uh, uh, things that we have uh, not come i mean uh, not that uh, not done good so the god is giving all those things so that they created a god and they are start to worship so nowadays you know like april 25 of the every year they used to celebrate an uh, celebrate an agriculture holiday so that holiday is a robi golia robi golia is a festival though that day was actually a holiday in uh, friends even now also they are uh, uh, celebrating and uh, following the customs uh, you know in in roman so that was actually king numa pompilus who initiated that so the next one uh, when we are celebrating robi goli every year i told you that april 25 of every year they used to celebrate a festival called robi goli yeah. so name the book written by surpal so uh, actually let's talk about uh, something about surpal so he is you know like an indian scientist uh, sorry an indian uh, uh, botanist and also the man uh, uh, you know who mainly worked on uh, uh, uh plants and you know how uh, the medicinal properties of plants you know like uh, their nature and propagation techniques various other kinds of stuff he worked on so he is a very famous man he wrote a famous book called vriksha ayurveda vriksh means plant ayurveda means ayurveda we know very well what is ayurveda right so plants the are the extracts that we are extracting from the plants that we can use it as a, a medicine so nowadays we have english medicine before that there is no such kind only ayurveda ayurveda you know like whatever it is everything will uh, will be cured by very slowly by using this ayurvedic techniques so vriksha ayurveda very famous book vriksha means plant ayurveda means it is a kind of medicine other it's a like a medicine uh, a branch that we, uh, that deals with you know like uh, management uh, you know curing of uh, human diseases and various other kinds of stuff related to their own uh, uh, practices by using especially plant products okay so the vriksha ayurveda is the famous book which was written by surpal which was written in 1560 he actually divided plant diseases into two internal and external and theotrum fungorum micrographia nova plantarum genera we know very well nova plantarum genera was written by p a michelli micrographia actually is written by robert hook theotrum fungorum was actually written by van sterbeck van sterbeck in 1916 75 sorry in 1675 uh the ring the ring disease of potato was published by so the ring disease of potato was actually published by lc coleman so this is just a, like a book okay uh, nothing to worry about it hashimoto actually the transmission of plant viral diseases uh, through vectors was first proved by you know like hashimoto and rice uh, you know like uh, dwarf and uh, the next one is uh, who observed the teleospores of fragmidium mucronatum for the first time in microscope it was actually robert hook the robert hook is the first man who first observed the teleospores of uh, uh, fragmidium mucronatum in uh, uh, in microscope and he wrote a book called micrographia i told you that uh, he wrote a very famous book called micrographia and the next one is uh, in august sorry in ancient rome an annual festival was held for blessing of rust god named as just now we discussed uh, uh, the festival name right so the festival name is robi golia and the god name is robigus the god name is robigus in 54 ad the next question is in 54 ad the roman emperor claudius caesar was murdered by his wife agrippina agrippina by poisoning the food with which of the following uh, a poisonous mushroom claviceps purpurea aspergillus amanita and amanita muscaria it is actually the poison i mean it is actually uh, you know amanita pallodes amanita pallodes the poison is very dangerous it is the poison that was uh, used by agrippina who is a uh, wife of roman emperor claudius caesar so actually i will tell you there is a mushroom called caesar's mushroom uh, amanita caesarina actually people used to believe that not believe that's true and amanita species are very dangerous to uh, uh, you know like for consumption because it's highly poisonous so right so few species of amanita is also consumable or edible so that i will tell you that is one of the edible mushroom is amanita caesarea which is a very famous and uh, you know like uh, a favorable mushroom for i mean a uh, favorite mushroom for claudius caesar he used to eat every single day so that's why it's called as amanita caesarina 
so i don't know what uh, exactly happened between them like you know like <laughs> cladis caesar and agarippa but agarippa uh, decided to kill him and he, j- he she just mixed the poison with uh, amanita pallodus poison with the amanita caesar because he used to eat mushroom every single day right so again he mixed the poison with uh, i mean now he she mixed the poison with amanita pallodus and simply killed the cladis caesar so for killing the cladis caesar agarippa used a mushroom called amanita pallodus and this is also the first mushroom uh, known to humans i think and the second one is the binomial nomenclature for the naming of organisms was introduced by we know very well kerala sloan linnaeus is uh, very famous for uh, uh, taxonomy and binomial nomenclature right so we know very well what is binomial nomenclature every gene every uh, organism has a two names genus name and species name and he is also considered as kerala sloan linnaeus is considered as father of taxonomy and he introduced the system of binomial nomenclature or binomial system of nomenclature and he wrote a very famous books like system of nature uh, in 1735 and another book is species plantarum which was published in the year 1753 and as i told you that anton de berry uh, trained students will become the greatest contributors to the plant pathology in later days in the meantime kerala swan linnaeus also trained two students ch persoon and one more uh, uh, botanist is em fries ch persoon and em fries let's uh, uh, you know later slides we will talk about this uh, ch persoon and uh, em fries so the next one is uh, who recognized mistletoe as a plant pathogen in 1200 bc so albertus magnus is actually a church priest who actually first recognized the old first plant pathogen or uh, what can i say that uh, uh, uh you know like uh, uh uh world's first recognized plant pathogen or you know uh, was to, uh, first pathogen to be observed you know like uh, uh, that is albertus magnus 1200 bc so he is actually a church priest and uh, this mistletoe is otherwise called as dendrothoe or giant mistletoe dendrothoe or giant mistletoe now the next one is uh, Uh, who first uh, what is the first plant pathogenic fungi to be discovered so the first plant pathogenic fungi to be discovered is phytophthora infestans before that nobody believed that the fungi i mean fungi almost, people will know that the fungi is caused by uh, uh, you know caused for many diseases but the first proof of uh, plant pathogen so the fungi can also cause plant diseases was first proved by Uh, with the pathogen uh, discovery of the pathogen that is pyrophthora infestans that is anton de berry right so the life cycle of uh, uh, you know like uh, 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 late blight of potato was discovered by anton de berry only right so the late blight of potato caused irish famine caused famine in ireland in the year so it's 1845 in 1845 only the famine was actually happened in uh, ireland and it caused uh, destructive almost uh, you know like uh, because of food starvation almost 1 to 1.5 million people are died and many people are migrated to usa central america north america and various other places right so species plantarum was written by so species plantarum was written by kerala swan linnaeus we already discussed that is also considered the father of taxonomy uh, and you know like he wrote two books like system of nature and species plantarum uh, these are all the two books which was written by him and uh, the next one is uh, who discovered the existence of bacteria so the existence of bacteria was first discovered by antony van leeuwenhoek we know very well antony van leeuwenhoek is the first one who discovered the existence of bacteria and indian phytopathology society was started by you know uh, i told you before that uh, fungi and diseases in plants was written by ej butler whereas fungi and plant diseases was written by bb munkur so he is the one uh, who actually started ips indian phytopathological society in india so the next one is uh, who first time evolved the spores are the casual agent of fungal disease i told you that uh, p a michelli right so p a michelli is the first one who evolved or evoked that the plant uh, uh, you know uh, actually diseases are actually caused by this uh, spores so the next one is uh, who is considered as precursor of modern botany precursor of modern botany so torin fort is uh, uh, one you know like is a one uh, famous botanist who actually we considered as a precursor of modern botany and uh, you know like uh, uh, let me tell something about this torin fort and uh, he classified plant diseases as external and internal however sorapol sorapol did and uh, you know like uh, uh, he is the first to make a clear definition and concept to the genus 
even though the <laughs> the concept of you know like uh, um, you know a binomial nomenclature genus and species uh, uh, concept was even though it was given by kerolas and linnaeus but the species uh, the genus exact definition was given by torren fort and as i said you that is considered as a precursor of modern botany and you know like uh, uh, you know he gave a long descriptive phase after genus like it's called as a cumbersome method of uh, naming i will tell you uh, you know for example fungus ramosus niger compressus parvus apicus and albus <laughs> don't get confused okay uh, the later this is the a very big name actually it was proposed by torren fort later it is simply named as xylaria hypoxylan by linnaeus okay it is simply named as xylaria hypoxylan by linnaeus that's why even though he was the first who ever could the concept and pure definition of genus in 1705 later in 1735 and 1750s and 1760s you know like carolus uh, uh, solvan linnaeus actually worked on and he actually uh, you know uh, introduced the binomial system okay and uh, before that it was a very big name that's why as i told you like fungus ramosus niger compress parvus apicus and albus it will be very difficult to pronounce it right so it simply named with uh, two things that is genus and species xylaria hypoxylan but simply very simple that i'm telling so the next one is uh, who is called as great grandfather of phytopathology actually matthew du tillet is considered he's actually a frenchman uh, he's actually considered as a great grandfather of phytopathology and this still it proved that bunt diseases actually bunt diseases of wheat is actually a contagious diseases and this can be you know like uh, uh, for the management he suggested uh, you know uh, treating the wheat bunt diseases or you know like seeds with uh, salt and lime so that we can uh, uh, get out of this disease some way and the next one is founding father of systemic mycology so founding father of systemic mycology ch person let's now we will talk about uh, uh, ch person em fryson uh, uh, other scientists as i told you that carolus van linnaeus he, he also trained two students that is ch person and uh, em fryes now founding father of systemic mycology ch person ch person he is also from france uh, he is considered as founding father of systemic mycology and he is also considered as founding father of modern taxonomy of mushrooms because you know like uh, uh, taxonomy based on spore color and the higher arrangement of the hymenophore actually classified by him that's why it's called as founding that's why he, uh, uh, he he recognized as the founding father of modern taxonomy of mushrooms but he is considered as founding father of systemic mycology it's a very very important systemic mycology and you know he wrote a very famous book Uh, synopsis methodica fungorum synopsis methodica fungorum is a, a very famous book which was published by ch person in 1801 in 1801 he published a very famous book called synopsis methodica fungorum and which is actually a, a cheap starting point for the nomenclature of erudinales that is rust histologinales maybe uh, smut not maybe <laughs> smut and uh, gastromycetes and you know like uh, he is the first one ch person is the first one who named wheat stem rust fungus as paxenia graminis triticae in 1797 1797 he is the first one who called or named the wheat stem rust pathogen as paxenia graminis triticae and because of his poverty later he sold his all his herbarium to the dutch government for money and you know see how the scientists are you know like how difficult it is for scientists in those days right so synopsis methodica fungorum i told you that synopsis methodica fungorum which was written by ch person and uh, next one is who sold his herbarium to the dutch government due to his poverty ch person only as i told you just now right and uh, who named wheat stem rust fungus as paxinia graminis it is again ch person only and systema mycologicum was written by em fries now we will talk about uh, uh, em fries actually em fries is considered as linnaeus of mycology because after linnaeus uh, he contributed a lot to systematics and you know like uh, 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 you know nomenclature and various kinds of rust smuts bisidium mycota all these various kinds of uh, 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 you know like uh, things was that was given by uh, ch uh, sorry em fries uh, no em fries uh, he is from actually sweden so that's why he is considered as linnaeus of mycology linnaeus of mycology he is also considered as father of systemic mycology 
father of systemic mycology whereas ch person is considered as founding father of systemic mycology whereas cm fries is considered as lineage of mycology as well as father of systemic mycology and he wrote a book famous book called that is system of mycologicum so system of mycologicum was a book which was written by em fries ch person we already discussed many things about uh, ch person and hm ward and we already seen there is a tropical plant pathologist and uh, cicado one thing we already discussed about cicado let's see uh, in later uh, let slides so the next one is the lineage of mycology uh, just now we discussed right em fries is considered as uh, uh, lineage of mycology and the next one is who is considered as reconstructor of uh, mycology and reconstructor of mycology so here lr tulsani is actually two brothers are there charles tulsan and uh, and one more tulsan is there these two brothers are considered as the reconstructor of uh, mycology so actually you know they are you know like uh, they illustrated uh, drawings of rust smash tascomics various kinds of fungi and uh, this tulsan brothers uh, uh, louis rene tulsan and charles tulsan and they recognized the five spore stages of autoaceous rust in 1854 uh, uh, like uh, drawings and all those things which was given by them only and uh, they also wrote some famous books like fungi hypogea which was published in 1851 and selecta fungorum carpologica it's also very famous book selecta fungorum carpologica which was published in between 1861 to 65 because it's a volume book okay and uh, tulsen brothers are the first to explain the relationship between sexual and asexual spores they are the first one who explained the relationship between sexual and asexual spores what are all the all the diagrams or what are all the you know life cycles that we are studying all these diagrams were actually uh, the ideas of you know like uh, uh, from this tulsen brothers only after discovering the relationship between sexual and asexual spores and uh, the next one is the copper sulfate uh, uh, as a c treatment fungicide used to control the bunt was uh, recognized by so it's actually a little bit uh, confusing maybe uh, robertson i'm not sure please uh, uh, check about this uh, question as, uh, you know like uh, 37 i thought that it's maybe robertson robertson and the next one is irish famine was due to you know very well irish famine is uh, lead blight of potato and the next one is uh, who studied fungi and observed fungal spores in melon that is watermelon so actually as i told you that spores are the actually ca causal agents of uh, uh, this disease and all those things that was given by p a michelli right so he actually observed this uh, spores on watermelon so and you know like uh, later uh, later only that he told that uh, spores are the causal agents are the actual culprits that was uh, uh, involved in the trans uh, involved in the disease and it was actually uh, first given by p a michelli so the concept of polymorphism so the concept of polymorphism was uh, actually given by tulsen brothers polymorphism means so existence of different physiological forms or just changing their shapes and structures or existence of different physiological forms that was actually given by tulsen brothers so the next one is uh, who is the founder of british mycology i think we already discussed about uh, this right mj berkeley so mj berkeley is actually uh, considered as uh, a founder of uh, british mycology we already discussed right so uh the next one is the lineage of so all i discussed right we'll go to the next slide so the next one is the microscopic manager so who is considered as microscopic manager so actually it's julius kun so he is a very famous man uh, julius uh, kun is considered as a microscopic manager and he is the first man who wrote a book that is a textbook that is completely devoted to plant pathology before what are all the books that we have seen like so many books we have seen synopsis methodica fungorum history uh, uh, you know like uh, icons fungorum system of mycology come and so many books we have seen like selecta carpologica fungorum fungi hypogea so many books are there but no book is completely devoted to uh this fungi and plant diseases so all the books are related to you know like systematics classifications and very few uh, information was uh, uh, mentioned regarding this uh, plant diseases but uh, you know like jg kun is the first man from germany who wrote the complete uh, uh, first textbook that is completely devoted to plant pathology that book name is the diseases of cultivated crops their causes and their control in 1858 he is also considered as father of uh, sorry uh, microscopic manager and it is a very very important uh, 
uh, you know like uh, in 1858 who wrote the first textbook that is completely devoted to plant pathology something like that was the diseases of cultivated crops and their causes and their control uh, the diseases of cultivated crops and their causes and their control was written by jg kun uh, microscopic manager who is considered a microscopic manager something like that there might be a chance of asking so the next question is who wrote the first book in plant pathology in 1858 just now we discussed that is jg kun julius kun and who discovered the synthetic medium for the culturing of uh, microorganisms it is also the synthetic medium for the culturing of microorganisms first discovered by rowling okay so which pathogen is responsible for heavy losses to wine industry in france due to epidemic in 1978 so that is uh, uh, grapes down in bilio okay plasma paraviticola is the actual uh, uh, you know reason behind uh, the reduction of uh, wine industry in 1878 uh, i think you know like uh, miller had also discovered bodo mixture for this uh, disease so in 1878 a series very serious disease occurs in uh, france that is grapes down in bilio which is caused by plasma paraviticola so in 1882 and in between 1882 and 1885 this uh, millard had discovered uh, bodo mixture so for the you know for the main efficient management of uh, this grapes down in bilio disease and the composition of bodo mixture is 1 is to 1 is to 100 is it is not the actual composition that was given by millard but for our understanding i will tell you 1 kg of copper sulfate 1 kg of lime or hydrated lime are uh, uh, along with 100 liters of water so we can easily mix all these ingredients and we can make it so always copper solution should be added to this uh, 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 lime solution and that can be added in uh, water and this can be readily used we can use it in uh, uh, within one day otherwise it may get a little bit toxic effect so so very easy fungicide and it is also called as holy water because it is a serendipity discovery accidental discovery but it worked like a it worked like a sanjeevini you know like as a better medicine right so the next one is a pioneer in the field of systemic mycology so i think we already discussed about uh, uh, ps eckardo actually ps eckardo is considered as pioneer in the field of systemic mycology we already discussed a little bit about this uh, uh, ps eckardo right and you know silopsis methodica fungor oh, sorry silloge fungor so silloge fungor was the famous work that was uh, uh, done by this uh, uh, ps eckardo is actually a professor at pada university PAUD now it's in Italy i think and you know like uh, his famous book is Silvum fungorum and he also wrote some other important treatises like Fungi Italic uh, which was actually appeared in 38 volumes i think so so this is about ps eckardo and uh, name the first textbook that is completely devoted to plant pathology as i told you that uh, uh, diseases of cultivated crops and their causes and their control is the first textbook uh, that is completely devoted to plant pathology that was written by j uh, j g kun in 1858 here is also important sometimes they will ask or they also ask you know like uh, uh, yes so the next one is autoceous and heterogeneous nature of rust was given by i think in uh, in the section of anton d berry we already discussed that uh, 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 you know like so many things he introduced like uh, astoria symbiosis uh, telio uh, teletospores mycetiosa six hormones autoceous and heterogeneous nature of rust chlamydospores endospores biotropes facultative parasite facultative saprophytes all these terms are given by anton d berry only and he is considered as father of plant pathology and the next one is uh, physiological plant pathology was work was initiated with and the section that i told you actually physiological plant pathology work is also first initiated by anton d berry only uh, uh, in the fungus botrytis cinerea botrytis cinerea it is actually gray mold and diseases of trees was written by so you know uh, i think we have already seen that robert hodge is considered father of forest plant pathology right so forest pathology and uh, robert hodge he wrote actually you know like uh, he wrote a book that is uh, uh, diseases of trees not only diseases of trees but uh, he also wrote one more book that is uh, important diseases of forest trees which was ac- actually published in 1874 and this is diseases of trees was published in 1882 uh, yes 1882 and the next one is the pure culture techniques was uh, given by oscar uh, brefil let's talk something about this uh, 
Oscar Brefield. So he is actually considered as a, a founder of modern mycology. Founder of modern mycology, but was a little bit confusing, you know, like uh, and Dundee Bear is also considered a founder of modern mycology or something like that. So if we leave this and let me tell you something about this uh, Oscar Brefield. So he actually published 18 volume, whatever the work that he had done in his entire lifetime, he published all the work in 18 volumes. Uh, that is known as actually mycologist bible whatever it is you want to refer however the bible is a very important uh, uh, trustee for uh, christians the same way for mycologist whatever he had published with the 18 volumes is also considered as a mycologist bible it's a very very important one uh, and he's also discovered that uh, diphtheriostelium uh, uh, mucorides and he's also worked on you know life history of cereal smarts potato blight fungus i will tell you one important uh, uh, interesting th thing about this uh, oscar brefield so he's actually due to glaucoma and unsuccessful eye surgery this uh, the oscar brefield is completely become blind and you know like in the last days of his life was spent in sanatorium for 6 years in between 1918 to I think 1924, okay, and I died in 1925. See, that was the situation because we have a technology nowadays. We can whatever like not only glaucoma, whatever it is. For most of the diseases nowadays, we have a cure except a few diseases. But in that time, due to unsuccessful eye surgery and glaucoma, he was uh, uh, completely become blind. And you know, his students are sometimes used to come and visit in. Uh, a sanatorium sanatorium that is sanatorium is the place where uh, long lived uh, sorry uh, uh, a prolonged ill people will stay and uh, some people will be there to take care of them and he actually died there in because of uh, blindness and other ill health and later who discovered the club root of crucifers which is caused by plasmodia pora brassicae i told you that uh, uh, Voronin, Voronin is uh, also a student of Anton D. Berry, right? So the club life cycle of club root of cabbage and the life cycle of potato wart, both the life cycles uh, was discovered and the and the name given the pathogen is actually the Plasmodium porosae and Syncytrium endobiotic in case of potato wart, which was actually given by Voronin, is a Russian scientist. Okay, he is a student of Anton D. Berry. And the next one is who introduced the use of petri plates in culture microorganisms. So actually uh, Robert Petri is the one who actually introduced the uh, use of petri plates in culture medium. Let me tell you something about this petri plate. The petri plate is actually 9 centimeter in diameter general. Because if you see there are petri plates are available with various dimensions. 7 centimeter, 8 centimeter, 9, 10, 11, 12 centimeters also available. But the standard one is 9 centimeter in diameter or 90 mm in diameter. 90 mm or 9 centimeter in diameter. The Robert Petri is the first one who introduced the use of Petri plates in the laboratory. He is the Robert Petri is an actually associate of Robert Koch. Okay. He is actually an associate of Robert Koch. We know very well about Robert Koch. He is a very famous man who introduced Koch postulates, right? So the next one is the founder of modern mycology. Founder of modern mycology. Actually, Anton D. Berry is considered as founder of uh, uh, modern mycology. Now only I told you that uh, this Oscar Brefield is also considered as founder of modern uh, uh, mycology. Actually, Oscar Brefield is a student of Anton D. Berry, right? Uh, so I believe that uh, founder of modern mycology uh, maybe goes to uh, uh, Anton D. Berry only because there is no study of the field of mycology in that time. Uh, before the introduction or discovery of this late blight of potato after the discovery only where the separate field of mycology started and tra he trained some students like uh, Oscar Brefield you know like uh, 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 Oscar Brefield or MS Voronin and PMA Millard at HM Ward, Farlow, Fisher all of the students of Anton D. Berry only right so the next one is uh, the term upper sorium was kind by so the term upper sorium was actually kind by A.B. Frank so the term upper sorium was kind by A.B. Frank so the term Ahastoria was coined by Anton D. Berry. Hastoria is the nutrient absorbing organ. Aprosoria is the attachment organ of fungi. So the next one is Siloge Fungorum was written by. So we discussed already that P.S. Eccardo is the one who wrote this Silom Fungorum. Actually it's 25 volumes. I was a little bit confused because in very old books I have seen this, you know, 26 volumes will be mentioned. You know, I believe that is in previous books and very old books that I have seen. Siloge Fungorum is actually have 26 volumes. But I don't know why people are telling 25 and 25. But what I see is 26 volumes, but I don't know which option what we need to uh, go with when it comes to exam. And the next one is who demonstrated inheritance of resistance 
through mendelian fashion so uh, orton and biffens so first demonstrated the inheritance of resistance actually resistance will go from uh, uh, parents to infant this uh, uh, was first actually erected by orton and biffen 1904 i think i'm not sure and the phenomenon of heterothalism was uh, first discovered by af blacksley hetero means different thallus means uh, we know very well so presence of sexual i mean uh, uh, you know different thallus hetero different thallus right so uh, heterothalism was actually first observed in uh, uh, in the fungus uh, that is uh, uh, aspergillus nigricans and aspergillus tolnifer both and who is the first president of indian phytopathological society actually i haven't given the option originally the first president of indian phytopathological society is sr bose sr bose is the first president of indian phytopathological society he will be there in the position for very few days later jf daster took the position and he became the president of indian phytopathological society after sr bose so the next one is uh, indian phytopathological society was started in the year it is actually started in the year 1947 and uh, uh, february 23 so sorry 28 sorry february 28 1947 where they started indian phytopathological society and it comes to uh, into the full act and working uh, in from 1948 so the genus allomyces was created by that we already uh, told you that uh, ej butler was uh, the one who actually created a new genus uh, allomyces and fungal hypersensitivity was uh, discovered by ec stockman hypersensitivity means uh, autolysis or self death so it is uh, nothing but i will tell you if it is a leaf right so if the pathogen is infecting here to prevent the further spread of the pathogen the cells which are adjacent to this infection or just cells which are near to the infection will sacrifice themselves or die themselves that is called autolysis so this phenomenon is called as hypersensitivity so it was actually discovered by ec stockman so spermatial stage of rust fungus was uh, discovered by we know it's a very famous one j h craig in 1927 discovered the zero stage or the most important stage uh in the life cycle of wheat stem rust zero stage or spermatial stage it is also a sexual stage which was discovered by j h craig he is actually a very famous canadian plant pathologist actually worked in uh, uh, in the fulfillment of uh, food production and uh, food security for canada and he i think he was uh, alive still a few years before and uh, at the age of 101 he died and uh, we can also see him in uh, uh, wikipedia J H Craig in 1927 discovered the sexual stage of Paxinia graminis triticae on which crop they are asking we know very well that uh, uh, i know uh, irudial and telial stage which happens on in mycology itself i discussed irudial and telial stage which happens on primary host that is wheat wheat and when it comes to acl and pycnial stage which happens on secondary host that is alternate host that is a barberry and we know very well basal stage actually happens in soil so here the j h craig discovered the sexual stage of paxinia graminis it is a sexual stage indirectly they are asking spermatial stage otherwise called as sexual stage otherwise called as zero stage which were discovered in a host called barberry we know very well the alternate host of wheat stem rust is barberry right so the phenomena of variability among the fungi was first discovered by ec stockman only the phenomena of variability of fungi was first discovered by ec stockman so now we will see the next one the first report on genetic study of resistance uh, to a disease was actually published by biffen uh, in england was actually published by biffen and the first demonstration of origin of physiological resistance through heterokaryosis so through heterokaryosis origin of physiological resistance was actually explained or demonstrated by hansen and smith in 1932 so gene for gene hypothesis was actually proposed but it's a very famous question which was given by h h floor henry herald floor the gene for gene hypothesis was first given the next one is gene for gene hypothesis was first established in the crop melon sora lin that is linseed rust okay melon sora lini so the next one is the first plant resistant gene that is hm1 so people you know like there is also chance of asking this what is the first plant resistant gene hm1 hm2 l1 or something like that they will ask so the first plant resistant gene is hm1 was isolated from corn by so actually briggs and walter 
Briggs and Walton were the first to isolate uh, this uh, HM1 resistant gene. So gibberellins was actually discovered by Kurosawa. Kurosawa was the one who first discovered this gibberellins. Red onions are resistant to onion smudge disease when compared to white onion because so because of the presence of two phenolic compounds, I will tell you, uh, you know, like uh, when you take two onions, red onions and white onions. So white onions are actually highly susceptible to a disease called onion smudge, which is caused by Colletotrichum circinens. Colletotrichum circinens. So actually white onions are highly susceptible, whereas red onions are highly resistant. So the reason for the resistance is red onions contains two phenolic compounds called catch call and proto catch call so due to presence of these two phenolic compounds the red onions are highly resistant to a disease called onion smudge disease so due to the absence of this catch call and proto catch call in red onions sorry in white onions white onions are highly susceptible to onion smudge disease this onion smudge disease which shows the symptoms black color scarf or black color discoloration can be seen on the uh, on the bulb so the next one is uh, who is called as father of indian rusts father of indian rust kc mehta kc mehta is a very 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 famous man kc mehta is considered as father of indian rust so let me uh, uh, share few other interesting things about this uh, uh, you know like uh, kc mehta he is actually considered as the father of not only considered as the father of indian rust and he also discovered the life cycle of stem uh, stem rust of wheat in india okay in india and reported that barbary as an alternate host and few books mentioned that he haven't find any uh, uh, alternate host or you know like uh, barbary uh, uh, for you know like uh, uh, that act as an alternate host but uh, i studied somewhere that uh, he reported barbary as an alternate host and he also published two monographs further studies on the serial rusts in india it's a very very uh, the next question is the same i think further studies on the serial rusts in india was written by kc mehta only actually the book was published in two volumes volume 1 and volume 2 so the volume 1 actually published in 1940 volume 2 is actually published in 1952 actually kc mehta died exactly in 1952 so later his uh, students was compiled very few i mean a little bit pending information and he published in the name of uh, 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 m k c mehta and further studies on serial rust in india was written by k c mehta only and who who oh, sorry who proposed the one gene one enzyme hypothesis it is a very famous hypothesis before because everyone thought that every gene is sorry every en some enzyme will be responsible for one gene so nowadays uh, we have a technology so that we discover the plenty of uh, genes are involved in uh, sorry plenty of enzymes are involved in the action of uh, one gene so now this theory is almost emo i mean uh, almost uh, immortal i mean uh, on that time the theory is immortal now it's uh, like uh, you know like uh, it's already faded theory so actually this theory was actually given by beadle and tatum uh, beadle and tatum so the next one is who coined the term phytoalexin phyto means plant alexin means protecting substances so these are all the substances which are produced by the plant to protect from the warding or to protecting from the infecting plant pathogens so this phytoalexin was actually first uh, you know coined by muller and borger so the first phytoalexin to be isolated uh, from uh, p pisum sativa so the first phytoalexin was isolated from p pisum sativa the year is 1940 okay so father of seed pathology so you know paul nirgard is actually considered as father of seed pathology and along with mary nobel he coined the term seed pathology and he wrote a very famous book called seed pathology volume 1 and seed pathology volume 2 it's a very famous book and who coined the term seed pathology just now i told you along with mary nobel and paul nirgard both coined the term uh, seed pathology The next one, name the book written by Paul Nirgard, which is considered as Encyclopedia of Plant Pathology. That is related to seed section, okay? So as I told you, just now I told you, uh, Seed Pathology, Volume 1 and Volume 2. Volume 1 is completely a descriptive type, sorry. Uh, yes, descriptive type. Volume 2 is completely uh, like, uh, 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 you know, references. So these two volumes are actually considered as uh, trusts for, uh, I mean, uh, uh, very important uh, books for uh, uh, pathology. That is especially seed related pathology. So Bengal famine was due to, we know very well Bengal famine was caused by Helminthosporium varese. Now it's called as bipolar sweaters, so Julia stage. And Bengal famine happened actually in the year, actually it happened in the year 1942 and 43. 
and victorian toxin was first discovered by so victorian is the toxin which was actually first discovered by mecca fund morphy and this history was not properly aligned and i hope uh, i will do in the next uh, you know like further books i will definitely do the proper alignment of this history not only this history there are my other concepts also because very few concepts are not properly aligned in the exact place so i will definitely do in the next edition and parasexuality was first discovered by so ponty carvo and roper were the first to discover the parasexuality let me tell you what is parasexuality so we know very well in the sexual reproduction of fungi plasmogamy karyogamy and meiosis will occur in a regular stage and the same thing will not occur in a regular stage when it comes to parasexuality uh, parasexual life cycle that is plasmogamy karyogamy meiosis not occur in a regular stage at a regular interval at a specified point so it was actually discovered by uh, you know like ponty carvo and roper in the year of 1952 it is also very very important in the year of 1952 and they discovered in the fungi called aspergillus nidulens now we will see the next question yeah the same question only parasexuality was discovered in the organism aspergillus nidulens here as yes. aspergillus nidulens is the first one where they discovered this parasexuality and the next one is the father of green revolution so norman e borlag is considered as father of green revolution in india ms swaminathan is considered as father of green revolution in india right father of green revolution we know very well norman e borlag is considered as father of green revolution father of green revolution in india yes the question again here the father of green revolution in india ms swaminathan is considered as father of green revolution in india so anti fungal antibiotic aryo fungin was discovered by so anti fungal antibiotic aryo fungin was actually discovered by thirumulachur so let me talk something about this uh, very famous man thirumulachar uh, and uh, you know like uh, 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 this thirumulachar is uh, also considered as father of indian antibiotics let's talk something about this thirumulachar he is considered as father of indian antibiotics so why is called the father of indian antibiotics that i will tell you he actually developed more than 100 antibiotics at least 50 of them are commercial level so he developed 50 of them are commercial level and you know like he developed some antiviral antimycoplasmal antipytoplasmal antibacterial antifungal and all many things so few of them are antifungal antibiotics uh, the famous few of them are i will tell you uh, like aryofungin hymycin dermostatin hyc4 these are the few antifungal antibiotics among all aryofungin is the very famous one it is the antifungal antibiotics which was developed by uh, thirumulachar and he is also considered the father of indian antibiotics and he wrote a very famous book called antibiotics in plant disease control they will also ask like this antibiotics in plant disease control was written by mj thirumulachar something like that they will ask and he also wrote like you know like histologenels in india iridinels of the world cercospora pseudoderma and cephalospora it's all like a monographs nothing else okay and this is these are all the you know uh, great contributions from uh, uh, mj thirumulachar and the famous one and the most important one is uh, this antifungal antibiotic so people used to call this uh, you know like uh, this question i have seen in many places uh, given example of antifungal antibiotic or who discovered the antifungal antibiotic something like that they will ask definitely so these are all uh, you know like thirumulachar who discovered this antifungal antibiotic aryofungin dermostatin hyc4 hyamycin so other things and uh, name the book written by anton uh, sorry mj thirumulachar just now we discussed like antibiotics in plant disease control which was written by mj thirumulachar is also considered as father of indian antibiotics and who reported the successful auxinic culture of wheat stem rust for the first time so williams so williams is the first one who successfully cultured the uh, auxinic culture of wheat stem rust and who cultured the auxinic culture of cedar apple rust so car cedar apple rust c cedar a apple r rust car so gymnosporangium junibere virginiana is the pathogen which is responsible in this uh, cedar apple rust this uh, life cycle sorry this auxinic culture was first done by cutter in 1951 i think whereas williams uh, successfully reported the auxinic culture of wheat stem rust fungus in 1966 i think so world's first a uh, host specific toxin that is a victorin uh, and it is actually isolated from a victoria variety of woods helminthosporium victoria i think uh, and uh, uh, the next one is the boom and bust cycle was proposed by so the first boom and bust cycle was proposed by 
Priestley in 1970. So Priestley is the first one who proposed this boom and burst cycle in 1970. And Dictionary of Fungi was written by Ainsworth and who developed the hybridoma technology for the production of monoclonal antibiotics. So Kohler and Milstein, Kohler and Milstein. So answer is A and B. They are, these are all the two scientists who developed the hybridoma technology for the, develop, uh, for the production of monoclonal antibiotics in 1975. Further, they got Nobel Prize in uh, 1984. So hybridoma technology for the production of monoclonal antibodies was developed by Kohler and Milstein. So they used a specific medium called HAT medium, hypoxanthine, aminopetrin, thymidine. HAT, H -E -A -T, hypoxanthine amino pattern thymidine is the specific media recommended for the production of monoclonal antibodies. So father of soil solarization. So Jacob Cotton is actually an Israel scientist which is considered as father of soil solarization. Now the next one is the Indian stem dust rules was written by. So it is a very very important question. I have seen this, play, uh, this question in many areas. So Indian stem dust rules was actually written by Nagarajan and Singh in the year of 1975. 1975 when it comes to Paxinia pathway was written by Nagarajan and Joshi okay so Indian stem rest rules was written by Nagarajan and Singh in 1975 when it comes to Paxinia pathway which was written by Nagarajan and Joshi in the year of 1980 so the next one is who first used the term endophytes I told you already that Anton D. Barry what are all the different kinds of terms that was he was uh, kind so here the the term and I mean the term end of it was actually kind by Anton D. Barry. So the next one is who demonstrated the presence of chitinase, chitinase gene that exhibits the enhanced disease resistance in plants. So it is actually given by D. Broglie or Broglie who first actually demonstrated the presence of chitinase genes uh, that actually exhibits the uh, resistance against this plant, I mean resistance against this uh, plant pathogens. So the next one is the uh, first avirulent gene was cloned by so the first fungal avirulent gene was cloned by dvt in 1991 first bacterial avirulent gene was cloned by staskavix in uh, 1984 the uh, see here the uh, fungal avirulent gene the first uh, that was first cloned by uh, dvt in 1991 in tomato cladosporium falva when it comes to first bacterial avirulent genes, Staskavix 1984 in uh, bacterial blight of uh, soya bean, Pseudomonas syringe, Pathovar lacrimins, I think. So, the next one is the fungal hypersensitivity was uh, discovered by, the fungal hypersensitivity was actually discovered by Starkman in 1950. Fungal hypersensitivity was discovered by Starkman. Bacterial hypersensitivity was discovered by Clement in 1963. When it comes to viral hypersensitivity is actually discovered by Holmes in 1929. So I repeat once again, fungal hypersensitivity, Stockman 1915, bacterial hypersensitivity, Clement 1963 and when it comes to viral hypersensitivity, Holmes 1929. So coming to the next one, who is the, sorry, what is the first plant resistant gene to be cloned? So we already discussed the first plant resistant gene to be cloned is HM1, right? So HM1 is the first plant resistant gene to be cloned. And uh, who cloned? I, I think we all we also discussed uh, we also discussed this. Briggs and Walton uh, were the first to uh, clone or you know like uh, clone this gene. And the next one is uh, what is the first plant pathogenic fungi to be completely genome sequenced? So the first plant pathogenic fungi they are asking, not fungi, pathogenic fungi, Magnoporte varize or Magnoporte grisia and in the general plant pathology section itself i just placed a type a, a table like this the first plant pathogenic fungi to be genome sequenced bacterial pathogen to be genome sequenced viral pathogen to be genome sequenced like that uh, i just uh, you know like uh, form uh, form uh, in formed in a table so that the information was given there so the people who haven't seen uh, i just uh, suggest you go and uh, see the pathology i mean uh, uh, general plant pathology section in the net and uh, what is the first plant pathogenic fungi to be completely genome sequenced is Magnoporte gese. And what is the first plant pathogenic bacteria to be completely genome sequenced is Xylella fastidiosa. And what is the first plant pathogenic virus to be completely genome sequenced? Cauliflower mosaic virus in 1980. And when it comes to RNA virus to be completely genome sequenced, it, TME, that is tobacco mosaic virus. Let me tell you the scientists also involved. So first during the fungi sequencing, uh, it was first sequenced by Dean et al. in 2005. And when it comes to bacteria, Zella fastidiosa, AJG Simpson in 2000, 
and the third one is uh, cauliflower mosaic virus frank et al 1980 and when it comes to tobacco mosaic virus golet 1982 and the next one is the father of hypomycetes so ts sadasivam is actually considered as father of hypomycetes not mysis okay actually it's a spelling mistake okay father of hypomycetes ts sadasivam so the next one is who is considered as a lighthouse of a plant pathology in india so is actually r s singh is considered as father of light sorry uh, considered as a lighthouse of in the plant pathology in india because he, he actually you know like uh, he trained many students and he shared his expertise knowledge for almost 50 40 to 50 years to the young budding scientists or to the young budding researchers to the young budding plant pathologists so that's why it's considered as lighthouse of plant pathology in india r s singh so father of phytobacteriology we know very well uh, e f smith is considered as father of plant bacteriology or phytobacteriology let's discuss something you know like uh, we have a coach postulates four coach postulates right so actually the first three coach postulate was given by robert coach whereas fourth coach postulate was given by e f smith so e f smith is also considered as father of plant bacteriology or phytobacteriology so the next one is blood miracles are associated with i don't know what is actually the blood miracles but it's actually associated with seresia marsens it is a dangerous human pathogen also who reported uh, the genus hendersonia so the genus hendersonia is actually reported by sido and butler uh, new species of pedothera parasitic and cast was identified by jf daster so jf daster is a very famous man he is renowned for the establishment of pedothera uh, worldwide you know like uh, in castor there was a seedling blood this is called which was caused by pythoptera parasitica and it was actually established by jf daster and he is also the second president of indian pathological society so the founder of pythobacteriology so here tj baril is considered as founder of pythobacteriology because tj baril is the first man who discovered the bacteria is associated with uh, plant diseases the first plant bacterial disease to be discovered by tj baril in 1882 the disease is fire blight of apple irvinia amylovora uh, before it is called as immediately after discovery he named this pathogen as micrococcus amylovorus the same question was asked in the 2021 net i'll tell you they, how they asked you know, they asked a question, what is the first name of uh, fire blight of apple pathogen? A. Micrococcus amylovora, Micrococcus amylovorus, Irvinia amylovorus, Irvinia amylovorus, something like that. Micrococcus amylovorus, not amylovora, amylovorus, okay? The first name that they are given is Micrococcus amylovorus. Later, the name changed into Irvinia amylovora. Why it is named as Irvinia? This E. F. Smith, Irwin F. Smith. So on behalf, I know on the remembrance of uh, Irwin Smith. So we named as Irwinia. Irwinia genus was especially created on remembrance of this E. F. Smith, where we considered E. F. Smith is as uh, father of plant bacteriology. So the first plant bacterial is fire blight of apple. The first name that is uh, devoted to, I mean given to fire blight of apple is Micrococcus amylovorus. Later the name changed into Irwinia amylovora in uh, Irwinia amylovora. And so he's also he's considered as founder as a founder of phytobacteriology because of the discovery of this first plant bacterial disease in the year of 1882. And what is the first plant pathogenic bacteria to be uh, reported? What is the first plant bacterial disease to be reported? We know very well fire blight of apple and pear. The answer is both B and C. Fire blight of apple and pear are the first plant uh, bacterial disease to be uh, discovered. So the coming to the next one, the term enzyme was kind by. So the term enzyme was actually kind by W. Kune. So W. Kune is considered as uh, 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 who kind the term enzyme. So father of enzymology. So father of enzymology. Actually James B. Sumner is considered as father of enzymology. So actually, you know, like Edward Buckner, you know, some you you know, if you see some uh, some of the books, Edward Buckner is also considered as father of enzymology, something like that. They have mentioned. So I was a little bit confused. I thought uh, you know, like uh, James Sumner is actually uh, considering as a father of enzymology. And few books it is also mentioned that Edward Buckner, but I was a little bit confused. But what I thought is maybe uh, Edward Buckner. And the next one is an enzyme was crystallized by the for the first time. Actually, the enzyme was first crystallized by James B. Sumner, that is urease enzyme, 
and what which of the following is a correct so apo enzyme plus co factor is equal to whole enzyme this is the correct one and aniline dyes was developed by actually aniline dyes were developed by paul ehrlich and the magic bullet concept is also given by paul ehrlich and he is also a nobel laureate in 1905 or 1906 i am not sure and if you want you just please go and uh, wikipedia it about uh, paul ehrlich and uh, magic bullet concept was given by him and is also a nobel laureate and the pore plate technique was developed by and you know actually the pore plate technique was uh, uh, actually developed by robert koch only and jump theories uh, jump theory of disease was put forward by or put for, uh, forth by which means jump theory of disease was first uh, supported or you know like uh, revolutionized by louis pasteur only the same question was asked in 2021 net also the next one is uh, who gave the term pasteurization we know very well that uh, uh, louis pasteur uh, is the one who gave pasteurization for the Uh, uh, for milk, uh, that is the, the temperature of uh, pasteurization of milk is 62.8 degrees Celsius. And the next one is uh, who is pioneer? Who is a pioneer? Uh, worked on pectic enzymes, which are responsible for soft rot of vegetables. So uh, it's L R Jones, which who gave this pectic enzymes are actually responsible for the soft rot of vegetables. And who wrote first review on Indian forest mycology and plant pathology in India? so the first review i think uh, forest plant pathology itself it indicates maybe uh, robert hartig i am not sure please uh, please uh, go through this because i have uh, i was a little bit uh, uh, doubt about this i thought it uh, it's maybe uh, robert hartig sorry 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 actually it's a india right so if it is a india it's a bakshi because kd bakshi is considered as uh, uh kd bakshi is actually considered as the father of forest plant pathology in india okay the answer is kd bakshi kd bakshi okay who wrote the first review on indian forest mycology and plant pathology in india if it is india it is kd bakshi because bakshi is considered as father of forest plant pathology in india uh, yes father of forest plant next question is same k bakshi only so the next one is father of uh, uh, who uh, first used oil immersion lens in microscope so the first oil immersion lens in microscope was give, uh, first used by ernest abbe so ernest abbe is the first one who used oil immersion uh, use of oil immersion in uh, you know like uh, uh, microscope and who coined the term bacteria so we know very well the term bacteria was coined by ehrenberg so we thought that uh, louis pasteur is actually coined the term bacteria but he, the bacteria was discovered by louis pasteur only but he never coined this term that is bacteria uh, but was actually coined by ehrenberg so the anton van leeuwenhoek called the bacteria as any molecules or small molecules any molecule is very small one or simply like a small creature or something like that he told in uh, french and the dutch sorry and uh, the bacteria term coined by ehrenberg only father of modern bacteriology we know uh, very well louis pasteur is actually considered father of modern bacteriology and the term microbe was given by actually uh, he is a c dillet is a french retired surgeon and army surgeon he actually coined the term microbe pasteurization of uh, pasteurization of rice milk and we already discussed that 62.8 degrees celsius and who developed vaccine for anthrax we know very well louis pasteur developed a vaccine for anthrax father of modern bacteriological techniques robert koch is considered as father of uh, modern bacteriological techniques founder of uh, uh, founder of uh, bacteriology so robert koch is considered as founder of bacteriology and uh, sorry uh, robert koch is considered founder of bacteriology so fourth koch postulate was given by as i told you the first three koch postulates was given by robert koch and the fourth koch postulate was given by e f smith and who coined the term i think the question was repeated st dillet was the one who coined the term microbe and the next one is uh, gram staining was developed by so gram staining for technique for the differentiation of gram positive and gram negative was given by christian gram and uh, flagella staining technique was given by frederick lofer or frederick lofer is actually one who gave this flagella staining for the identification of flagella and the next one is uh, Uh, who first proved that insect plays a major role in dissemination of fire blight of apple actually the option was not here the first man who uh, you know uh, proved that uh, insects are involved in the transmission of uh, bacterial disease that to fire blight of apple was given by mb weight 
mb weight okay and the next one is the bacteria in relation to plant disease was given by ef smith okay ef smith wrote uh, uh, you know actually he wrote two uh, uh, books on this uh, bacteria and all those things so uh, the first one is uh, uh, this is a bacteria in relation to plant diseases that was the one book that was uh, written by himself and uh, and he also wrote i think one more book that is uh, introduction to bacterial diseases of plant so this bacteria in relation to plant was which was published in three volumes 1905 1911 and 1914 i think and when it comes to introduction of uh, uh, introduction to bacterial diseases of plant which was published in 1920 and i told you already the fourth coach was coach postulates was given by ef smith irwin uh, f smith and is also considered phytobacteria father of phytobacteriology and who discovered the bacteriophage individually so bacteriophage means bacterial eaters the virus that infect bacteria is called bacteriophage it was actually discovered by twart and herrelly uh, individually they discovered twart 1915 1917 herrelly they individually discovered the, this bacteriophage and who named the bacteriophage even though twart and herrelly individually discovered but the name bacteriophage was given by herrelly only herrelly is the one who named the bacteriophage the next one is who demonstrated the transformation principle of bacteria in the same general plant pathology section and i think in the bacteriology section sorry in bacteriology section we mentioned that conjugation transformation transduction so sexual recombinations of bacteria three sexual recombinations are there conjugation transformation transduction so here the transformation was given by griffith who discovered conjugation conjugation lederberg and tatum escherichia coli transformation griffith uh, uh, pseudomonas salmonella uh, sorry pneumonia and uh, transduction was actually discovered by lederberg and zinder not zinderberg sorry is a zinder okay uh, actually lederberg student zinder zinder is a student of lederberg okay in 1952 uh, uh, i think and uh, you know in the organism salmonella and who kind the tum plasmid so the tum plasmid was kind by lederberg so during i mean at the time of discovery of this plasmid and naming the plasmid the age of lederberg is just 20 see imagine so in the 20 itself he has enthusiastic interest to do something in the field the particular field that he selected what we are doing at the age of 20 simply roaming there and here simply is wasting our valuable time in netflix or somewhere else so still we have a plenty of time in so if you see the india is the only country which we having around 52% of our Uh, uh, you know uh, youth uh, youth rate no other country having that much youth so if you really thought to do something definitely we can achieve uh, a good in our future so still it's not too late so those who are really have a dying passion and interest in their particular field it's not only in plant pathology whatever the field it is it's time to start now itself don't wait for good time or bad time if you are planning to do something good the second itself is a good second because the time won't come back so think about it and uh, the term plasmid was given by lederberg and what is the first old's first antibiotic so we know very well old's first antibiotic is a penicillin that was discovered by alexander fleming in 1928 right yes old first antibiotic penicillin was discovered by or developed by alexander fleming and the next one is who is considered as father of modern antibiotics actually even though the first antibiotic was discovered by fleming but waxman is considered as father of modern antibiotic because he discovered another antibiotic called streptomyces nowadays most of the antibiotics are isolated i mean uh, uh, pharmaceutical antibiotics are produced from streptomyces only so the streptomyces was actually isolated and discovered by waxman selwyn waxman he is also considered as father of antibiotics and antibiotic streptomycin was discovered by waxman i told you just now right so the next one is who reported the complex uh, nature of wheat tundu disease uh, was caused by a bacterium and a nematode complex that is actually hinger one in 1958 is the first one who actually identified uh, uh, you know like uh, the complex nature of wheat tundu disease and the bacterium nematode and the world's largest antibiotic producing genus that is as i told you that uh, streptomycin is the world's largest antibiotic producing around 60, 80% of the uh, pharmaceutical antibiotics are especially produced from streptomycin only and the next one is the father of phytobacteriology father of phytobacteriology i am telling okay in india in india mk patel normally it's uh, sorry ef smith kings bee medium was developed by evo king okay kings bee is especially recommended for pseudomonas culturing of pseudomonas okay who discovered the bacterial mutation here the bacterial mutation was discovered by luria and delbruck 
So see, mutations was actually discovered by Hugo Davis in 1900. That's the first, that's the secondary thing. But bacterial mutations was discovered by two scientists, Luria and Delbruck, both uh, Luria and Delbruck in 1962, I think, I hear, uh, I'm not sure, please uh, uh, go through once again. And who discovered Delo Vibrio? So, Delo Vibrio is actually discovered by Slope in 1962. This is confirmed. And uh, what is the first living organism to be patented? Actually, living organisms are not actually patented, but only one living organism to be patented so far is that is giant pseudomonas that was actually discovered by an Indian scientist. Now, he is in USA, that's secondary, but it was actually discovered by an Indian scientist called Chakrabarti in 1974. So, this giant pseudomonas actually used to clean the seas, uh, uh, that is, uh, you know, like, uh, you know, like oil, uh, uh, this is oil, uh, maybe oil uh, spillings and all those things will be there. So, this giant pseudomonas actually used to clean the seas. So, yeah, I told you already, Jane Studeman actually patented by M. Chakrabarti and uh, who developed the KOH test for the confirmation of gram staining? Suslo. In 1952, Suslo developed a technique uh, for the confirmation of gram staining. So, gram staining, we know that uh, differentiation for gram positive and gram negative, but the confirmation of gram staining, Suslo in 1952 developed one more technique, that is KOH technique. Here, uh, potassium hydroxide technique, that is a 3% KOH is used. And uh, who demonstrated HRP gene? And HRP gene was actually de demonstrated by Lyndon Green, okay, who is considered as father of PGPR, plant growth promoting rhizobacteria. John Klepper is considered as, uh, uh, J.W. Klepper is considered as uh, uh, father of PGPR. Who coined the term mosaic? So, the term mosaic was actually coined by Adolf Mayer. And, you know, three people in virology uh, is strongly considered as uh, a pillars of uh, uh, plant virology because they only uh, did so many contributions uh, regarding uh, plant virology and so many other things. So, let me tell you one by one. So, the first one is Adolf Mayer. So, this Adolf Mayer, he coined or introduced the term mosaic and he also called the sap transmission of tobacco mosaic viruses mosaic cancrete because he is a German, right? So, in German, mosaic cancrete means sap transmission, okay? And when it comes to the next one, Ivanovsky is a Russian man and he thought that, you know, Adolf Mayer actually, you know, concluded that uh, the actually the causal agent is, uh, 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 you know, uh, you know, he actually thought that the causal agent is uh, 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 bacteria because uh, it is uh, very small. So, he thought that it is a bacteria. But Ivanovsky from Russia said that it is not caused by bacteria because the causal agent is very smaller than bacteria because he performed the Chamberlain uh, filter experiment so that he retained, again, he retained the uh, you know, like uh, infectivity, so that he concluded that it is not caused by bacteria, it is smaller than bacteria. And finally, Bajernik is uh, considered as father of plant virology and is also considered as father of environmental ecology. And he is the one who coined the term virus and he is also introduced the liquid material of virus is named as contagium vivum fluidum. The liquid infectious material of virus is called as contagium vivum fluidum. So, now we will see mosaic cancrete is responsible for the sap transmission of tobacco. Just now we discussed it, right? So, sap transmission of mosaic cancrete, that is Adolf Mayer, who discovered the inclusion bodies. Yeah, I forgot to tell you one thing, that uh, the inclusion bodies was also discovered by Ivanovsky only. So, the next one is uh, father of plant virology. Generally, father of plant virology, we know very well, is a bizernic. When it comes to India, uh, father and founder of uh, plant virology. So, father and founder of plant virology is uh, Bajernak. In India, S.P. Rai Chaudhary is considered as father of plant virology. Yes, S.P. Rai Chaudhary here. Who kind that term virus? We know very well. Bajernak is considered father of plant virology and also kind that term virus. The term virus means poison or venom. So, local lesion essay was actually developed by. So, local lesion actually developed by Holmes. Okay, and who developed the cross production technique? So, the production cross production technique was developed by McKinney. McKinney, who developed the cross production technique, and the next one is uh, cross production technique was developed initially, it was developed against uh, tobacco mosaic virus, but nowadays we are actually using widely against citrus tristiza virus. So, to actually, this McKinney developed cross production technique for uh, TMV only. But citrus tristiza virus can be effectively controlled by this cross protection technique. So, from that point onwards, everyone start using this uh, cross protection technique for uh, this citrus tristiza virus. So, the next one is who invented electron microscope? We know very well. Uh, 
Noll and Ruska in 1931 and 32 developed uh, electron microscope who crystallized tobacco mosaic virus for the first time. So the tobacco mosaic virus was first crystallized by W.M. Stanley. It's a very, very important one. So tobacco mosaic virus was who crystallized the tobacco mosaic virus. So for the crystallization, also, for the crystallization, he got Nobel Prize also in 1946, I think. And who called virus is a nucleoprotein. F.C. Bowden and N.W. Pyre is considered as a virus as a nucleoprotein. Nucleoprotein in the sense, the combination of nucleic acid and protein code. That's why it's called as nucleoprotein. Okay. And who discovered mutation? mutations in virus actually bacteria we have seen already bacterial uh, mutations before we have seen this bacterial mutations now we are seeing this uh, viral mutation so viral mutation was actually discovered by delbruck and luria both all the i mean sorry uh, not sorry uh, uh, sorry it's not all the above bacterial mutation was actually discovered by delbruck okay bacterial mutation was actually discovered by delbruck and uh, when it comes to the next one, uh, who identified the double helical structure of uh, uh, DNA and uh, double helical structure of DNA, DNA. see in, in, in bacteriology we have seen Luria and Delbruck discovered the bacterial mutation. But when it comes to viral mutation, Delbruck alone discovered, okay, now it is got clear, right? So who discovered the double helical structure of DNA, we know very well, Watson and Crick. Nucleic acid is the infectious material of plant virus was given by Geirer and Scram. It's a very, 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 very important one. Nucleic acid is the infectious material of plant virus was given by Geirer and Scram. As I told you, W.M. Stanley, right? He wrongly thought protein coat is the infectious material. So later, uh, Geirer and Scram in 1956 identified nucleic acid is the infectious material of plant virus. So the next one is the plyto phytoplasma was discovered by. So phytoplasma was first discovered by Doe et al. in 1967. The first phytoplasma is a mulberry dwarf. I already mentioned in, uh, in that uh, in previous section. So the next one is uh, spiroplasma was uh, discovered by. So phytoplasma was discovered by Doe et al. Spiroplasma was discovered by Davis et al. And the next one is what is the first phytoplasmal disease that I told you mulberry dwarf is the first phytoplasmal disease. When it comes to first phytoplasmal disease, it is a constant. Viride was discovered by. So now we have seen phytoplasma and spiroplasma. Now viride was discovered by Denner. So the first viride disease is potato spindle tuber viride. And it is also the first viride to be completely genome sequenced. Satellite virus was discovered by. Satellite virus was discovered by Cassanis. And what is ELISA? Enzyme linked immunosorbent assay is the expansion of ELISA, which was discovered by Clock and Adams in 1977. So ELISA was developed, yeah, just now we have seen Adam and Clock was the first to develop this uh, ELISA. Prions was discovered by. So Stanley Prisoner is the scientist who actually discovered a new pathogen that infects not only, uh, that infects only humans, that is uh, prions. Prions means infectious protein. Okay, it's a nothing, it's a just an infectious protein or malfunctioned protein which has a capacity to spread its infectious natures to other, uh, uh, you know, other uh, uh, proteins. So it was actually first discovered by Stanley Prusiner, okay. The, uh, the first estimation of size of tobacco mosaic virus was uh, carried by, so initially that was first carried by Duggar and Carrier. And PTGS was discovered, PTGS means post-transcriptional gene silencing, it's a very, very important Post-transcriptional gene silencing or RNA interference was first discovered by Andrew Fire and Craig Mello in 1996. Andrew Fire and Craig Mello in 1996. Further, they got Nobel Prize in 2006. And they discovered this, uh, uh, this phenomena in a nematode called Chenorhabdis elegans, who first to prove the virus vector relationship in a rice dwarf virus. As I told you, that is Ishimoto. The first virus vector relationship was first was given by Hishimoto only. He's a Japanese farmer, I think. It's not a scientist, farmer, I think. And later, next one is what are the other names of RNA silencing? Post-transcriptional gene silencing, co-suppression, RNA interference. These are all the other names. All three are the other names of RNA silencing. The next one is the use of carbon disulfide as a soil fumigant was first given by Edmund Thinard because he is also considered as father of soil fumigation. Edmund Thinard is actually considered as father of soil fumigation and he used carbon disulfide as a soil fumigant. So the next one carbon disulfide is used to actually phylloxera root effect. So to control phylloxera root effect only is Edmund Thinard used this carbon disulfide. 
so the question is carbon and sulfur used to control again this phylloxera was static only phylloxera rotated okay bodum which was developed by we know millard at the composition of bodum is 1 to 1 is 200 that is 1 kilogram of copper sulfate 1 kilogram of lime or hydrated lime 100 liters of water burgundy which was developed by mason in 1887 and uh, regarding this uh, bodum is a copper based fungicides especially this copper based fungicide i have already given in uh, uh, you know applied plant pathology and you know uh, chemicals in plant disease management section in uh, net the composition of uh, burgundy mixture so the composition of burgundy mixture is 1 is to 1 is to 100 then is 1 kilogram of copper sulfate 1 kilogram of sodium carbonate 1 kilogram of water the main difference between bodo mixture and burgundy mixture is instead of lime in bodo mixture we are using sodium carbonate in burgundy mixture that is the only difference so the next one is chestnut compound was developed by so actually the chestnut compound was developed by Beverly. so Beverly is the first one who developed the chestnut compound so the next one is the composition of chestnut compound that is 2 is to 11 2 kilogram sorry 2 parts of copper sulfates and 11 parts of ammonium carbonate is the composition of chestnut I mean, uh, composition of chestnut compound the next one is the biocontrol properties of trichoderma was first reported by Weinling in 1931 and 32 time at the time uh, he is the first one who actually reported the bicontrol properties of trichoderma viridi and theorem was actually developed by Tisdale and Williams so theorem was developed by Tisdale and Williams in 1934 and what is the first systemic fungicide carboxin and oxycarboxin are the both are the first systemic fungicide to be discovered by Van Schemling and Marshall Kulka in the year of 1966 it's a very very important what is the first systemic fungicide they will give options like this oxathin or uh, sorry oxycarboxin or carboxin both are the systemic fungicide that comes under a group called oxathin group of fungicide carboxin and oxycarboxin that comes under the first systemic fungicide that was discovered by Van Schemling and Marshall Kulka in 1966 okay so the trade name of oxycarboxin is a plant wax whereas the trade name of carboxin is vita wax oxycarboxin is generally recommended for the management of rust whereas carboxin is generally recommended for the management of smuts yes uh, the same question here first seismic points were developed by van shemling and marshall kulka both and the captain wall otherwise called as actually captain is a c treatment fungicide it was actually called as kittelson killer because it was first developed by a scientist called kittelson that's why it's called as kittelson killer which was invented in the year 1952 it's a very very important one so captain is otherwise called as, as i told you otherwise called as kittelson killer the same question i think captain was invented in the year 1952 so captain was developed by so captain was developed by kittelson that's why it's called as kittelson killer and the next one is uh, who coined the term biological control so the term biological control was actually coined by uh, uh, van tubef van tubef is the first one who actually coined the biological control and uh, founding father of plant pathology in europe so the same van tubef is considered as founding father of plant pathology in europe not here and uh, who isolated antibiotic viridin from trichoderma actually braun and mcgrath were the two scientists in 1945 isolated a compound or antibiotic compound called viridin okay it's very very important who isolated the antibiotic compound from trichoderma viridae braun and mcgrath what is the antibiotic compound present in trichoderma viridae that is viridin something like that the anti trichoderma proper trichoderma is a uh, antibiotic was i'm sorry uh, biocontrol was first given by Winley, as i told you right and who is considered a father of plant disease epidemiology that is j e van der plank so j e van der plank is considered as father of plant disease epidemiology father of plant disease epidemiology j e van der plank so the next one is name the book written by j e van der plank so he wrote so many books five books he wrote i will tell you a few very important one is plant disease epidemics and control so the, all the books like disease resistance in plants uh, uh, principles of plant infection is also written by uh, van der plank only uh, all the above was written by van der plank but the most important one is plant disease epidemics and control was actually given by van der plank in 1963 is also very very important the next one is what is the first computer stimulation sorry not the stimulation it is actually simulation s-i-m-u-l-a-t-i-o-n okay spelling mistake and what was the first computer stimulation model was it's epidem alternate area uh, early blade of uh, potato and tomato it was developed for early blade of potato and tomato and the next forecasting model the first forecasting model is blight cast it was developed by 
ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ದ ವ್ಯಾಗ್ನರ್ ಡೈಮಂಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವ್ಯಾಗ್ನರ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ನೈನ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಬ್ಲೈಟ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಸಾರಿ 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 ಎಪಿಡೆಮ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಕಂಪ್ಯೂಟರ್ ಸ್ಟಿಮ್ಯುಲೇಷನ್ ಮಾಡಲ್ ದಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ ಬೈ ಡೈಮಂಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವ್ಯಾಗ್ನರ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ನೈನ್ ಬಟ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಫೋರ್ಕಾಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಮಾಡಲ್ ವಾಸ್ ಬ್ಲೈಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾಸ್ ದಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ ಬೈ ಕ್ರೌಸಿ ಐಟ್ ಆಲ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಕ್ರೌಸಿ ಕೆ ಆರ್ ಇ ಯು ಎಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಕ್ರೌಸಿ ಐಟ್ ಆಲ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಫಾದರ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೀಡ್ ಪ್ಯಾಥಾಲಜಿ ಇನ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ so here normally father of seed pathology we know that uh, paul nirgard but in india d surya narayan is considered father of seed pathology the father of indian biological control the mukopadhyay is considered as father of indian biological control the next one is uh, plant pathogenic bacteria have known since we know very well the first plant pathogenic bacteria was discovered in the year 1882 by tj barrel fire blight of apple irvinia amylovara so we know very well all those things so first plant pathogenic bacteria known to humans from 1882 and uh, bacteria as a causal agent of plant diseases was first reported by we know very well tj barrel was the first one who identified and discovered the bacteria is responsible for plant diseases so the next one is uh, who reported that the plant diseases fire blight of apple is caused by bacterium tj barrel only and uh, what is the first plant pathogenic bacteria that is uh, uh, reported uh, that is uh, fire blight of apple we know very well and uh, pioneer in the modern chemotherapy that is uh, paul ehrlich and uh, you know first person to notice the study of crown gall of disease ef smith so the crown gall of disease was first studied by kf smith and uh, we know very well that crown gall of uh, apple is caused by not only apple stone fruits is caused by agrobacterium tumefaciens and according to montage late blight of potato was caused by botrytis infestans there is a scientist called or botanist called montage he thought that fire blight of apple is caused by botrytis infestans and the next one is uh, the concept of one gene one gene hypothesis bidil and tatum you know the transformation of virus of uh, the transformation of virus by plant hopper uh, was first reported by kunkel okay elvo kunkel the transformation of virus uh, virus by plant hopper was first reported by kunkel this elvo kunkel is also considered as father of mycoplasmology and density gradient centrifugation was actually uh, developed by m uh, mk brackey and the next one is uh, uh mushroom sculptures of uh, th- uh, mushroom sculptures from 1000 bc was discovered from gutamela and the next one is uh, criteria required for the proving parasitism was actually established by robert koch and the domain taxon domain taxon was actually given by carl woos and who reported that full amino acid sequence of uh, tobacco mosaic virus it is uh, actually given by anderer and suguta and who reported a double stranded dna is the genetic material of califlower mosaic virus was first given by shifford in 1968 okay and who first used the term biological control the term biological control was first first used by stanford the next one who authorized the book epidemiology of uh, epidemiology and uh, plant disease management that is judax and shen and who proposed the phenomena of genetic vulnerability which was actually proposed by horsfall and who studied the role of nadph dependent reactive oxygen uh, generating the system of potato tubers associated with the resistance of pyridopter infestans that was actually given by you know like doc who published the uh, published the determination of uh, seed borne disease louis toyer and a monograph on part of the disease in in india uh, was actually uh, given by you know like written by mehrotra and agarwal the first botanist to study and write about the plant diseases uh, was you know theophrastus only the next one the word control evokes the notion of finality of having controlled of permeability settled the program actually this was you know like the word control evokes the notion of finality of having a controlled by it is actually given by j lab i don't understand what exactly it is and bacteriophage of bacillus keratovirus was actually isolated by ch kunz and kodilna and uh, who got nobel prize for the anti microbial sorry anti bacterial therapy for discovering the first sulfa drug the first sulfa drug actually discovered by domac <coughs> ice nucleation active bacteria was uh, first discovered by lr macky and the name the scientist who obtained virus free plantlets by carrying the aseptic culture that is moral so the first he is the first one who isolated actually uh, developed the first virus free plants and who cloned the first disease resistant gene modulating the hypersensitive response that is gb motif so these are all just a few questions only so these are all just a few questions only because there is a lot to look into 
you know history hope uh, the information what we have uh, presented here I hope it will be useful and the, these are all the two books that was uh, written by myself uh, I, I just published just uh, some eight months before uh, a vision into plant pathology a complete student version and volume one and volume two it is like you know like encyclopedia uh, for students i can't say uh, everyone uh, encyclopedia for students the both volumes composed of almost 1330 pages which all the information was uh, mentioned very clearly and very neatly trust me it will be very useful for almost all students so if you can't able to buy now this see this will be available in kalyani publishers website it's not available in uh, online websites it's available in kalyani publishers website it's very easy if you just go to, just go to kalyani publishers website and you can order there if you want because the trust me whatever the information that i am telling every single pinch is from my book only okay and in the book i have mentioned the contents like history of plant pathology general plant pathology mycology bacteriology virology epidemiology applied plant pathology phenyroga mixed nutritional disorders mushrooms nematology seed pathology physiological and molecular plant pathology biotechnics or biotechnology and plant disease management laboratory equipments general techniques and methodologies in laboratory all the things that was mentioned in uh, this book only trust me this book is not only recommended for uh, net and ars whatever the exam that is related to plant pathology this book is a completely an outstanding one i am not telling because i wrote this you just go through it you only will uh, come to know and uh, finally i believe that the man who studies history can makes history so uh, stay geeky stay tuned we are team geeky researchers